What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Go News update video. Today is February 24th, 2018, which means today is Pokemon Go Community Day. And I'm going to leave my quote unquote review for Pokemon Go Community Day at the tail end of this video. I'm gonna go over the news first because as you can see, we have a new graphic or new art for Pokemon Go. And that is because Kyogre and Groudon are joining Rayquaza for a week of legendary battles. So this is coming from the official Pokemon Go website. I'm gonna have a link in the description to this blog post from Niantic. And it says Kyogre and Groudon join Rayquaza for a legendary week of raid battles, which is dope. So anyone who hasn't gotten a chance to catch Kyogre or catch Groudon will have an extra week this week to go out and catch them. It says, trainers, now is the time to test your strength. Legendary Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon return to raid battles alongside Rayquaza for a limited time. Now is an excellent chance to finally catch all three ancient legendary Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region. Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza each have their own strengths and weaknesses, so challenging all three will take skill. Power up your strongest Pokemon and grab your friends and head to nearby gyms for a chance to battle and catch them from February 23rd, which was yesterday, until March 5th. So you have an entire week to go out and add these legendary Pokemon to your Pokemon Go party, which again, I think is pretty cool for the people who missed out, like me. I missed out, but I don't think I'm actually go out and actually get these guys. Unless they make a legendary Pokemon that you can raid by yourself, I'm not getting these guys. So to mix it up, they're actually putting an incentive on reasons why you would want to catch these legendary Pokemon. So let's jump in and find out. It says we're in for some legendary battles and the overall results will be exciting. If Rayquaza is defeated more than Kyogre and Groudon combined, Pokemon that typically prefer windy weather, for example, Bagon, who is a Pokemon I don't have, are more likely to hatch from eggs from March 5th to March 16th, which is again an, a week after the week of legendary raid battles. If not, Pokemon that prefer sunny or rainy weather like Trampich or a low toad are most likely to hatch. So depending on which legendary raid battles that we encounter and do more, that's going to be the, the ones that are going to be hatching from the eggs. Those types of Pokemon are going to be the ones that are hatching from the eggs. If we battle and catch more Rayquaza, then we're going to get wind, windy type Pokemon hatching from eggs. If we catch more Groudon, then we're going to get sunny weather Pokemon hatching from eggs. And if obviously if we catch more Kyogre, we're going to see more rainy weather Pokemon hatching from eggs. I personally would like to see more windy Pokemon because Bagon does sound nice. That's a Pokemon I don't have. So all I would need is to catch it and be able to walk it for some candies and hopefully get my Salamence. But what? Pokemon would you prefer to be hatching from eggs for a week? I mean, it's just one week. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this. I, again, I, I'm on Team Rayquaza. Team Emerald is the, the one I played, even though I did play um Ruby and Sapphire before I played Emerald. But again, Team Emerald is the way I'm going to go for this one because a Bagon sounds way, way nicer than a Lud Toad or Trampage. It says these battles will be tough. So we have new special boxes debuting on February 24th, which is today, containing raid passes to help you prepare. Visit the in game store to find out more. So, do you know Pokemon is celebrating a legendary year in 2018? You can learn more about these other legendary Pokemon at, at Pokemon.com slash legendary. Says do not miss on the opportunity to add these legendary Pokemon to your team. Stay safe and happy exploring. Again, this is something 
that I didn't expect. I didn't expect them to re-add Kyogre and Groudon, which is pretty cool, back into Pokemon Go. They're mentioning that they're celebrating the a legendary year in 2018, and in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they're distributing all legendary Pokemon throughout the year. So, they did mention on that website, the Pokemon dot com slash legendary they did mention that pokemon go is gonna also receive some special in-game bonuses throughout the year and i believe this is kind of tying in this is going to be the first one where they're going to be re-adding kyogre and groudon back into the game for a week i think it's pretty cool hopefully we do see other legendaries from the past make a reappearance and as well as new legendaries as well i know some of you guys have missed out on the legendary dog so having the legendary dogs for example reappear in a game i think will be pretty cool or you know even the legendary birds or please mewtwo get out of the ex ray battle system and just drop them in the regular battle system i think everyone would love that but again let me know in the comment section below what would you want from this legendary year of Pokemon inside of Pokemon Go. Now, like I said earlier, today is February 24th, which means today is Pokemon Go Community Day. And yes, just like everyone in, the, just like everyone predicted, Dratini was available to catch as a shiny Pokemon. No surprise there. Every time we had a quote unquote event, they're trying to sneak a shiny past us, but us as the Pokemon Go community, we, we tend to find them out. And we kind of suspected that the Pokemon Go community day, Pokemon was gonna be shiny because in the past, Pikachu was shiny. So we figured that they were gonna be shiny. So to no one's surprise, Dratini was shiny, which means that you could get a shiny Dragonair and a Dragon Knight, which, uh, it's not my favorite shiny, and Dratini and Dragonite, Dragonair, I mean, is not my favorite shiny as well. But, uh, you know, it's cool to have shiny Pokemon making their way inside of Pokemon Go. Now there's stories of people catching up to 14 shinies I've seen on, you know, on Twitter. And I'm like, oh my God, scratching my head, like, why can I even get one? I couldn't even get one. But it's okay, it's all right. I got my uh, Dratini. To be honest, this was the first time I ever seen Dratini in the game at all so it was my pokedex catch as well as catching dragon knight as well um dragon air and dragon knight for the first time so it was pretty cool i got a pretty good cp dragon knight with the move draco meter which everyone is saying is isn't the strongest move set for dragon knight but I'm, I'm i'm okay with it i only have one and you guys know me i'm not more of a battler guy i'm just straight up playing to trying to complete the pokedex quote unquote and i would have really really loved a shiny dratini in my pokedex or in, in you know in my bag or whatever but you know that unfortunately did not happen but that doesn't mean it can never happen happen because as you guys know with all the shiny pokemon being added to the game that means you can potentially go out and farm shiny dratini if you were have if you're next to a dratini nest or whatever you know shiny dratini could still spawn it's just gonna have a less and harder chance to spawn so that's still a thing so you know you do see a, a dratini out there shiny check it and overall today was pretty cool i did get a couple of other pokemon added to my pokedex I, uh, what was this oh, um, the the pig the I forgot the pig's name the the one that spunks the the jumps around whatever today was the first time I seen multiple of that one of that Pokemon and I caught it and I caught his evolution which is pretty cool another Pokemon to add off of my decks and that was pretty it I actually um heard stories of people finding bag on today and other stuff and, and that didn't happen for me unfortunately but it's pretty cool that Dratini was a I was able to catch Jatini and add it to my Pokedex but let me know in the comment section below how did Pokemon Go Community Day go for you I do know that there was a lot of outage of um, the game completely not working and it was down for a couple of hours during Pokemon Go Community Day so Niantic responded and extended Pokemon Go Community Days for the people who it was down for I believe in Asia it was down and so they they, they extended the hours 
and stuff like that. Which, again, is pretty cool that Niantic seen that there was something wrong and said, yo, we, we effed up, we fucked up, let's let's fix it and let's extend your guys' hours so you guys can enjoy Pokemon Go Community Day just like anyone. But besides that little issue, I think it went off pretty cool. Let me know your Pokemon Go stories in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go news update videos the best way to catch them all is with a subscription so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon go news update video and what pokemon would you want to see next month on the pokemon go community day just like the pikachu pokemon go community day i think we're gonna find out very soon about what pokemon is gonna be so they can get us hyped for the next pokemon go community day very early which i think is pretty cool i, I like the way they rolled this one out they were they were like yo here's the pokemon dratini but we're not gonna tell you to move and everyone was like, whoa, why not? And then there was like a little catch that, yo, you had to catch your teeny and evolve them. And Dragonite is going to be the one with the move. And I thought that was pretty cool. I hope they continue that trend. I did like the surfing Pikachu, but I didn't like the fact that if you involve the surfing Pikachu, Raichu does not have the surfing um, ability move. Which I hope they recon that in the future, especially if we get the Alolan Raichu in Pokemon Go. But again, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Pokemon Go Community Day. As well as let me know your thoughts on them adding Kyogre and Groudon back into Pokemon Go. And we're going to be having them in Pokemon Go for a week so you can go out and raid them as well. Let me know your thoughts on that. And what other legendary Pokemon would you like to see have a reoccurrence inside of Pokemon Go for the legendary year of 2018 with the Pokemon Company celebrating. Let me know all that in the comments. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.